Hi everybody, time for a quick look inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Bowl. The district's Family Community Resource Centers have stayed busy during COVID and as we start to pull out of it, their efforts have ramped up even more. We wanted to share two stories with you today about FCRCs that show how they support students and build community. First, let's head to Harney Elementary School for Social Friday. It's a weekly series led by Principal Steve Stoll and FCRC coordinator Hilda Lale. The event brings families into the school for breakfast, coffee, and conversation. When we stopped by, a Harney mom had made pupusas, which are kind of like cornmeal cakes stuffed with cheese, meat, and veggies. I ate way too many of those, I'll tell you what, they are so tasty. Anyway, families had a chance to chat with one another and get critical news updates from the school. Families are everything. We cannot do school apart from families. So to be, to be able to partner with them again, has been instrumental in the success of our students. And it is so great to see families talking with each other, not just with us, but that communication between families and it's starting to happen again, whether it's on the playground after school where families will let their children play and then they hang out as adults. But it's making those connections again, which bring us back to a community school, not just a school. The presentations are held in English and Spanish to reach more parents and are an important communication tool for Principal Stoll, who is in his first year leading Harney after time spent as an associate principal. Next, let's move over to Fort Vancouver High School, where the FCRC is a place for students to express their admiration for the important women in their lives. March is Women's History Month, so FCRC coordinator Julie Mercado put up a herstory board. Students could put up the names or pictures of any woman they admire. For JC, the choice was easy, his mom and sister. They uh, helped me to grow up, you know, to, they pushed me a lot and to go forward and don't go back. And they uh, helped me in everything. So yeah, that's why I choose my mom and my sister. Another objective for Ms. Mercado is to encourage students to think about the role of women in history in modern society. And so far, it seems to be working. So I noticed there is a lot of conversations during lunchtime that they talk about like, um, toxic masculinity, uh, machismo, uh, the gender gap, inequality in payment, um, toxic relationships and things like that. So it's important to, it was like a conversation started for them. Thanks to the success of this month's board, she plans to offer more conversation starters like this the rest of the year. And if you haven't visited your school's FCRC, give it a shot. They offer a wide variety of services to students, parents, and the school community. Thanks to the FCRC coordinators who invited us to their schools, and thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Nick Vole.